Move over baby boomers and Generation X. The oldest millennials are turning 40 this year and they are shaking up the workplace. As News 8 Steve Price reports, employers are finding they need to make accommodations quickly or they'll lose some of their best employees. Critics say millennials feel entitled. Hunger praise. Millennials counter they're not entitled, they're emboldened. They're demanding changes when it comes to work, and experts say employers need to listen. The work life balance. Um, that's the reason why I left corporate, is because I wanted to have a better life, you know, for myself with my family. Melissa Ortiz quit her job in the hotel industry and she's not alone. Last month, 4.3 million Americans resigned their jobs, not fired, resigned by their own choice. So it's an issue that management really has to deal with. Phil Blair with Manpower Staffing says millennials know what they want. Flexibility, working remote, transparency, corporate responsibility. And he says they aren't going to give management years to come around. Millennials currently average just two years, nine months at a job. They're focused and they're driven in their way. And if management doesn't see eye to eye with them, they're okay leaving with or without a job. Blair says today's employees don't want to feel guilty leaving work to see a friend in town or support their children in after school activities. And Blair says this isn't a trend, it's here to stay. I work my own hours and then just as long as you get the work done, that's, that's, that's the main thing. Cormac Bradley works for a software company. They've gone 100% remote for employees who want that. And for companies fighting the millennial push for change, consider this. In four years, millennials will make up an estimated 75% of the workforce. Europe is testing a lot of 32 hour weeks, full pay, 32 hours, and it's working. So it's going to be very interesting to see our trends over the next three or four years here in the United States. In downtown, Steve Price, News 8.